today we're gonna take a look at some Amiga parts that you can order from AmigaKit.com. The first thing is actually here. You can actually buy this little kit. Uh, really nice. It looks like molded plastic where you can put in your uh, compact flash card from the back. That's the first thing. The other thing is you can actually buy brand new Amiga disk drives and they're pretty nice, you know, brand new. Look at how much powerful they are. <laughs> and they just work, guys. Man, when you insert this, it's just, it's just quality. Love that, brand new, again, from Amiga Kit. So yeah, that's another possibility. You can also buy, you know, from IDE to Compact Flashcard Solutions, different models from Amiga Kit. You can buy brand new mouses, real nice. You can actually buy this eight megabyte card, uh, again, from Amiga Kit. And uh, this card, you can actually buy it with eight megabyte RAM. You can also buy an FPU if you have any use for that as you can see a 1200 8 megabyte memory expansion amiga kit a real-time clock module you can actually buy one of these and put it on here if you want to see what time it is on your amiga really important stuff yeah so we have some jumpers on the jumpers you can take you can uh, put jumper adjustments for the FPU, external speed, internal speed, or off. This is on off because no jumper is included. Uh, no FPU is included, not really needed. I have compatibility issues with games when I install FPU, so I don't use them. And you can also, you can see, you can actually remove uh, all the fast RAM here and you can install four megabyte, that's maybe to be combat compatibility with the PCMCA socket, I'm not sure, I haven't been reading, but you can, yeah, put it down to four megabyte, 5.5 or the fully eight megabytes of RAM. Now let's just install this bad boy and see how it goes. But before we do that, I just wanna say that this RAM, RAM card is absolutely so, so, cheap and a must have for your Amiga if you want to play WHD load games because the build on 2 megabyte chip RAM is just not enough of its own so you have to minimum upgrade to with with 8 megabytes of fast RAM but these uh, sockets here the black ones are really just too thick to go in here I really don't like them you can get them with white connectors they're a bit better but still too thick so the thing you actually have to do is is actually when you want to install one of those you have to screw this um this screw off and lift just a tad here so you can insert that card it's irritating but is it is possible to install them let's see how this one scores with the ram expansion now with only built in two megabyte chip ram the Amiga 1200 scores 1000 dry stones in sysinfo. So we have installed the 8 megabyte RAM here. We have installed IDE to compact flash card internal here. It has another ID to compact flash. If I install the cable from here to the back side over there, then I can just take off the card. But I have got a 16 gigabyte built in compact flash card here, guys. So it has got hundreds and hundreds of Amiga games so yeah it is what it is but let's just see now the Amiga has detected the 8 megabyte RAM expansion that's just beautiful so let's go in here oh this mouse is just super super nice guys so let's see programs and sysinfo the speed is okay I mean it, it runs with the built-in 68020 so let's make a speed here and see how much it scores. It should be about double, as you can see. It scores 2,800 dry stones and 2.93 mids. Let's just make another speed test here. 
some of you guys want me to make this beep test 10 times and take the average but again 2814 i'm not gonna do it 10 times guys <laughs> but three times okay 2850 dry storms again mix 2.93 and flops not available because we haven't installed the fpu so it runs over here with the 68 ec 020 at 14 megahertz that's the little cpu built in here so yeah nice little system now if we look at the boards we have got an 8 megabyte zoro 2 card here and if we take out the reading speed of the complete flash card then it will be pretty slow let's see here it's reading reading come on yeah 1.25 megabytes per second so pretty slow but it's the built-in 020 it makes a friend but again it's really fast compared to when i use my mega 500 with a sidecar with an id drive uh, that could score about 500 600 700 kilobytes per second so it is double the speed it is a 30 bit 32 bit system but if you accelerate with accelerated, accelerated with an 030 card, then the Mega 1200 is uh, much more desirable. That's just how I feel, guys. That's just how I feel. But as I said earlier, minimum eight megabyte of fast RAM expansion is just a must. Okay, if you have an Mega 1200, buy that expansion. It's just cheap and it does double up. I mean, your your Mega gets uh, it gets double the speed without the card it scores about 1000 dry stones so yeah nice solution and it runs five times faster than the mega 600 so beautiful stuff guys let's uh, exit this let's oh, the disk drive man that new disk drive is just it's amazing it feels so everything's just so tight i love it <laughs> when you insert the disc take it out it reads everything i throw at it and it's just it's great so we have the sys test here version this is an old version from 2016 memory there we go so we have got the two megabytes of chip ram and eight megabytes of fast ram beautiful stuff keyboard now i have had issues with you know um amiga 1200 and Amiga 600 keyboards lately have to buy new membranes, but it's, it is possible to, you know, buy them new and enjoy them, guys. As you can see here and there, the keyboard is just perfect. That's how we check it. You can actually test the this program. I love this program. You can test the mouse, <laughs> left and right. You can test your joystick nice beautiful stuff you can actually also test the audio all four all four channels and you can test rtp colors red red green blue beautiful and if you download if you buy this program a neuro version then it has got some updates and it's made one of the best test programs for the amiga man i love that disc absolutely so let's just go ahead and see, um, because <clears throat> when you run WST load games on your Amiga 1200 without fast RAM expansion, it will say out of shadow memory, it won't run properly. So let's choose an AGA game. Um, pass engine. Look at the loading speed. I press and it has to load a bit and that's because it's still an 020 okay so it takes some time so let's see champions of Korean. let's see cast engine aga right now without that x-rated card it it won't run uh, games that was on i don't know four discs or something like that that would just say out of shadow memory but sometimes games on two disc it won't load but 
but sometimes you can be ha uh, happy, uh, lucky, and load few games. Turkane that loads with Turkane one loads with 512 kilobytes. It's a one disc game that will work. <laughs> yeah, the AA version, as you can see, has engine loading speed fine, and everything is fine. This Amiga is fine. Everything is fine, guys. So yeah, what a nice upgrade. Uh, really, really cheap. I don't remember the prices, but if your disk drive doesn't work the proper way, so cheap to just buy new. Uh, sometimes you can clean them, uh, adjust them, give them a bit of oil and, and, and use them again. And sometimes you have to recap the disk drives. But other times, if they're, if they're just dead, then just why not just buy new. Uh, the Compact Fest through IDE, uh, or the other way around, <laughs> it's just a must if you want to play WHD.games, games, guys. Um, yeah, love that. Uh, I bought a uh, RGB to SCART cable. Uh, on these, uh, I think there are 50 inches uh, dual um, <clears throat> Sony LCD screens, but 50 inches with one meters from the screen is just it's too big. I don't know why I wanted to buy this big man. I was like, it could be great, you know, having two identical screens here, but no, it's just too much. I'm gonna go ahead and take out my old, I think it was 40 inches. That That's that just enough, okay? It's just enough for me. But yeah, that's it. And the RAM card. I mean, it's maybe one of the cheapest and easiest expansions. And one of the great part of that is, is it F10? Yeah. One of the great part of that RAM block is, let's see, is, oh, it just has to load, guys. It, it, it's slow because it's running with the O20 processor. Uh, let me see, shut up, V2, that's nice. 1990. Uh, that RAM card, um, yes, it's a bit tricky to install it, <laughs> but it is what it is, guys. But the good part is, it's plug and play. 100% just plug and play. That's what I love. If I get a product that I have to install and set up and do all that software stuff, then I just it just kills my interest, okay? This, just put the jumpers on 8 megabyte or what you prefer, 4 megabyte if you want to use something on the side here. Uh, maybe PCMCA to, uh, to CF if you want to transfer games. Whatever, dude. Can we skip this? No, we can't. Okay, and then you just plug it in and as you can see, 8 megabyte runs fine. So I want to say, let's just one more game. Let's just Alien Breed. Oh, that loading speed. Uh, let's just... Sure. Alien Beat Breed 2. AGA version. Now this won't work if you don't have the RAM expansion. That's for sure. I think it was a 4 disc game, an AGA game. That's 2 megabytes of chip RAM alone is just not enough for this. <laughs> nice. And for your Amiga 1200, don't buy a RAM card for the PCMCIA slot. That's not a great solution. This is for the 16-bit Amigas for your Amiga 600. It will work on your Amiga 1200, but uh, it's slow. It's really slow. So one of these on your Amiga 600, great solution. Not for the 1200. <laughs> okay, guys, I want to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Really cheap upgrades from Amiga Kit and they just work. Great stuff, man. Thank you for watching and until next time, take good care of each other, guys. Bye.